I gotta have a good zoom on this one. see it up close. All the Chadang Chads on the third row. <laughs> like a map on the window showing some of the, the areas, different buildings and uh, apartments. Daddy after daddy after daddy after daddy after daddy. Big parking lot. Hello everybody, it is uh, Monday the 28th of September, 1998, and this is my new room at Camp Carroll, Korea. It's about five hours south of uh, Kangjushan, Camp Casey, where I used to be stationed. And this is my room right now. Today's a Monday. My TV and stereo. And I got two bunk beds here <laughs> put together. Kind of messy nice right now. Korean flag. My computer. One of my two computers. Got a little fridge. Microwave toaster. Got these two wall lockers here. This is a big building. This is a lot. This is a big barracks compared to where I used to live. Korea. Here's my hall I live in. Here we are at the uh, R&B South Ranch Control Center. And this is the office that I work in. And this is a uh, Mr. Kim, he he's works under Mr. Gaffney at his yes, senior KSC. There's Mr. Gaffney's desk. The boss. The boss. And Korea. And this is Sergeant Ryan's desk. You've Hi. seen him 500 times on film. It's all for up. Yeah. This is outside. <laughs> this is inside. Yeah, this is inside. <laughs> we'll go there later. We just, apparently they just moved the office and they were on the other side of the building. And this is where I work, right next to Sarnon. We got big printer and computer. See, I'm still getting stuff set up here. Fax machine. And this is a map of Korea. And this is the classroom where they give the test to uh, the units, the range certification test. The rest of the range control area. Back in the very back over here is Roca. Hang on, they all. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Of course, we have the latrine the area. We ain't gonna go there, though. Outside. It's raining, raining today. Yes, today's still 28th of uh, September. 
This is the truck that I drive right here. Pretty good truck. It's an old building. And here we are outside my barracks, Camp Carroll. Big barracks. I'm a battalion here. There's a mess hall right in the center inside. It's the first building I've ever seen with a mess hall. And there's my range truck right there that I drive. Here we are on the 10th of uh, October. And there's my room. I think I've already showed this. I'm just and it looks like I might be getting a roommate uh, by the middle or end of next week. So that's not a good thing because I've been without one for the last uh, three years almost. I got my civilian clothes in one more locker. I got my BDUs in the other one. Big barracks. You got the urinals over here, the sinks, and the curtain over there. Mm -hmm. This is my, in my room, out my back window. The other car, the DD4 2765, is a good job. Me, okay, that's good. They currently have an ID card with lots of sponsor information. When the person carrying the car really nice. is the sponsor. So consequently we've eliminated all reference to the sponsor and just has names, social security number, and those kinds of things. Uh, very similar to the military ID card. About 40,000 civilians, mostly overseas, will get their cars. The first oh, your dad's orders, my daddy. I told you. Wait, you got my bad side. Oh, I'm Nobody just, has a bad side. You're going to show this to your family. Like, so this is what you're saying. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Hey, What's up, Chris? Is that good? Hey, so see that? Okay, so you're not This is called leftovers. <laughs> yeah, okay. You take one shot if you miss your chance. Look, it's a calibrated yeah, national rifle. Right? This is a um, this is a required you, skill in the army. As long as you keep uh, of course making it, you keep shooting. If you make five in a row, you can call a rule. can be anything. Like you can't use pronouns or uh, uh, wearing clothes. Some stupid shit. Okay. Yeah, that's, and if you. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Don't catch it. Don't it's on now. Stop putting that damn thing in that clock. This is like a brain damage game that you play when you, uh -huh. when you're brain damaged. You just like stand right up. Over. There should be a rule about how close you can stand to it. Yeah. 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 But you never forget where you came from. You're always base team. You're always base team. Regardless of your pack. You gotta drink three times. So you gotta drink out of each other's pots. So it's, it's our tailor is the one that's actually leaving first. He'd be the one drinking first. Hello, we're gonna do it together. Not together. You can drink out of each other's pots. You want all this. So you drink out of each other's pots. You already crossed the ground. You haven't started yet. Uh, they all do with their pants off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear, so that's my yes. Whoa! Oh, 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 we didn't need to know that! Whoa. That sounds like a personal problem. Okay, you're all going to drink together. The objective is to drink it as fast as you can.